Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Valkyria Chronicles 4. We're here in the middle of the second part of the Battle of Ziegfeld. Uh, Kai has been knocked down. Fortunately, our sniper knocked out by some freaking snake in the grass here. So we're going to have to take care of that. Um, so let's get the Hoffman moved up. Now, it is a tank buster, which is bad, but the Hoffman can take a shot or two. Enemy sighted! Okay, so we got some guys here. This guy would be bad, but really, it's the tank buster, wherever the hell he is. Now, we know he's in the grass, because I think we use, just use a mortar and totally wreck this guy. So we know he's in here. This should flush him out. Fire! Yeah, there he is. Oh, yep. Okay, that's Tank Buster, all right. Trying to hide. Okay, well... Our best chance here. Huh. Okay, so we know we, we got to pick up the sniper. The, um, the scout here can totally do that. Nico can totally pick up Kai. It's not ideal, but we can do that. Um... There's a... I don't know why that shock trooper is facing over this direction, but that's true. Um, we need to take this position. I don't know how we do that without getting hurt. A sniper would be great, but we don't have one right now. I'm wondering if maybe, like, Raz or Ferrier moves back over here and, like, launches a grenade or something. They can't throw the grenades very far, so that wouldn't really work. They could fire on the position, but shock troopers are not very good in the whole, you know, aiming department. Possible, but not likely. What could happen is Riley could probably hit the Lancer. Uh, especially if she climbs up here. If she goes up here and lands, like, in this position, that wouldn't be bad. It's a long way for Riley to go, but even if she gets, like, only up to, like, here, that might be good enough. And height does count for a lot. Well, it should count for a lot. I don't know if it actually does, but it should. Yeah, let's get Riley up there. That that could be... That could at least take out the Lancer. The Lancer is the main problem. Let's get up here. All units, step it up. And actually, Riley might also be able to take out the, uh, the Shock Trooper on the other forward. side, too, if we wanted to do that. Enemy. So up here is fine. And go into target mode. If she, the regular she can't hit the Lancer, she should be able to hit that guy. Yeah, she can totally hit the Shock Trooper. Now, what about the Lancer? Yeah, Tank Buster Nimi. 22 shots to kill. Excuse me? Okay, just making sure I'm not crazy. I mean, I might be a little crazy. 22 shots to kill him with an artillery? I mean, he's only one down from the mortar that the freaking tank dropped on him, so... Yeah, he's very strong. How the hell is he this strong? I think that actually took out the guy who was next to him, so that's something. Because there was another guy next to him. He's, he's gone now. So that's something, but holy freaking cow. This tank buster is insane. Okay. Oh, launchers are armored to resist explosives since they're built for fighting tanks. Oh, okay. No, that makes that makes some kind of sense. It's just that's crazy. But you're right, they do a blast armor. I forgot about that. Okay, so... So what do we do here? thing is, there's no cover up here. If there was cover up here, like a sandbag or something, I would put our scout up, and I'd have her take pot shots at this guy and see if that would work. Instead, what we're going to do, I think, is use the tank again. Advancing. Um, this time, though, we're not going to use the... 
um, the AP round. We're going to use the brown and see if maybe that works. Oh, there we go. We just need to land two shots. Okay, Zildane, you helped me out a lot there because I would use explosive normally on this guy. Now, granted, we don't have very good aim here, but I'm hoping the wind will kick up. Fire. Did not happen, but that's okay. Tank Buster, name me down. Whew, okay. So, knowing he was resistant to explosives but not the other stuff actually helped out a lot there. Let's move over in position here. Please assist the Vanguard. Okay, this is good here. Let's not move too far forward. Alright, let's pick up Kai. Um, that's your job, Nico. Yeah, you'll see your job, Nico. Make sure Kai doesn't die. Okay, great. Bring Karen over. You're safe now. Thank Hang you, Karen. Appreciate that. Are you all right? Okay, Kai's been evacuated. She got repaired or healed up. One of those. Okay. Oh, I'll make them Your job's just to keep going forward here, Nico. I don't know oh, if Nico would be able to hit... Yeah, out. no way you're going to hit the Shock Trooper. He's down here for now. Stay right here. I don't think we can really move that far forward. Looks like there's a bunch of sandbags that have been destroyed. Maybe not. Maybe just further away than I thought. Okay, we could move the cactus. The cactus doesn't have anybody in it right now. We should probably deploy another sniper. We're going to need them, for sure. There's some pillboxes there. They're going to have some ragnate crates we need to take out. So, let's do that. Let's, uh... And we could deploy Kai again, I think. No, we can't. We can't. Not until next turn. Well, Nord's or Need is better than nothing, so. Nord, you're going to come out. We need to take this. How are we going to do that? Safest way is going to be with Riley. We use Riley to launch a shot at this guy. It's probably what I should have done initially. Launch a shot at this guy. That'll knock down the sandbag around him. We then move the shock trooper up, take him out. Um, once the shock trooper is taking him out, the other shock trooper might be able to go and take the base if that one can't. We could try running a scout out and doing all that nonsense, but that sounds like a, just a bad idea. Let's do it the safe way. Leave it to me. So Riley, if you want to position your shot over here, please. Not the anti-take cannon, though that's not a bad idea. But yeah, the Shock Trooper. It's not going to kill him. Close, though. He probably doesn't get to see the fruits of her efforts, so... That's alright. So let's get Raz up here. You want these guys moving together? Huh. We haven't actually used the SP. It goes away at the end of the turn anyway. And a coordinated assault on this thing here next turn would be really nice, right? So, although we do have the pillbox to take care of, but hopefully the sniper can deal with that. Which the cactus can move up next turn anyway. So, yeah, sure, why not? What could possibly go wrong? Aside from everything. All right, get behind me. Okay, so your job here is to grab her... Watch my back. Very Team well. up with her. It missed. Fall back. Oh, okay, that's uh nope, don't end the current action. Okay, with the team up shot here, this should be an easy kill. Yeah, he wasn't even behind cover because Riley did her job. Well done, Riley. Well done, Raz. Don't need don't I keep hitting this freaking circle button. Allow me. You want me to climb this cliff? Okay, so now she's going to follow me, too. I all narrowly missed that freaking landmine. Okay, good. The base is taken. Anybody else here? I don't see anybody else. All right. That's all I wanted to do. Basically move those guys up. With that done... I mean, there's this guy over here. I'm hoping these guys, oh, these guys are all facing the wrong direction. This guy's totally going to charge. 
He's totally going to do it. He doesn't have anything to lose. Why wouldn't he? And these guys are all facing the wrong direction. Shit. Um, Alright, so face... At least ferry the right direction. There's no cover to back up on, unfortunately. As you wish. Like, why wouldn't he? Is the thing. Okay, don't get in the middle of it, though. Unfortunately, there's no sandbags, but I just want to face her in the right direction. She she has a chance to take this guy out when he attacks. There's a lot of fire going on these bollards right here, so that means there's probably a guy right at these sandbags. Don't know for sure yet. And I think we'll just save this last CP. We already called in a sniper over here. That's fine. Well, we could take out the Shock Trooper with Riley, maybe. She's not going to be able to take out the anti-tank turret, but she could take this guy out. He is crouching, supposedly. Oh, so he's got he's got to stand back, too. Okay, never mind. He might not advance then. All right, let's just, just in the face. We can save the CP. What are they going to do? They can move the Shock Trooper up, right? Okay, and they got their scout, too. That's fine. So if he moves too far forward, he's going to suffer for it. Riley's trying to do intercept fire, but she's bad at it. Yeah, don't know what he was thinking charging a tank. That's never a good idea. It was like Riley did some intercept fire and got that guy out of cover, too. So now he has to move, and he dies, right? He did not die because he stopped movement before he died. <laughs> he was pretty close, though. He's still going to move? You madman. You absolute madman. What are you thinking? What are you thinking? That's another CP down for no good reason. And that's it. The game decided, you know what? Fuck this. I'm out of this. All right. So we got our, we got our sniper. Um, let's move the sniper and the engineer with the cactus. So let's get the cactus here. Yep, I'm on it. Okay, so you're going to go ahead and pick up, pick you up, come over here. Uh, can I not pick you up? I cannot make you board over the, uh, over the sandbags. I have to come around, it looks like. Maybe I can't do it because he's crouching. I guess you're staying there, Mr. Engineer. I can't do anything with you, so I don't know why, but that's the way it goes. Let's at least get Kai somewhat close here. Oh, I don't see the Telltale Blue. I don't see how we take down that pillbox. Okay, so we can deploy Kai from there if we need to. How the hell are we going to deploy this freaking pillbox? Right, let's move the let's move the Hoffman up and see if we see an opening. Oh no, wait, we can't do that yet. Hold on. Ah, Shazbot, we've got a problem. Anti tank pr cannon here. So if I move the tank up, it's going to get hit. But I can't take it out because there's a pillbox here. Uh, more than likely, yeah, more than likely the Ragnar crate is going to be on this side, isn't it? We have ourselves a catch-22 here, ladies and gentlemen. All right. So what do we do with that? If it's an improvised pillbox, it's not. If it was improvised, Riley would be able to do something. But she can't. Riley could take this out. It'd take a couple shots, but she could do it. That would at least solve that problem. Yeah, okay. No, that Riley can totally hit that shot. I believe in you, Riley. You can totally do it. You can totally do it. There we go. There's the anti tank cannon. Two shots to kill. You know what? It might be worth a 2 CP to do it. Yeah, okay, no, we, we should do it with that. So we'll put that away and then hit her up again. Leave it to me. And that's your, just your entire job here, Riley. Just take out this anti-tank cannon. He's dead. Great, done and done. Got him. Good job, Riley. 
I don't think there's a reason for her to move yet, so we'll just keep her there. This guy, though, charging that position is probably suicide, so we'll just wait here. We don't need to necessarily move forward yet. There's no other base to take except for, of course, this one over here. We don't need to do that yet. I mean, Raz could just charge in. He's like that. Raz could charge in and punch him. The problem is there could be a bunch of guys over here. We have no idea. Oh, no, wait. There was a pillbox here. We killed it. There might not be anybody left. As far as we know, there's no more sandbags over here, except for down over this way. Raz and company might be okay. Possibly. Okay, let's, um, let's deploy our sniper. At the very least, I want to see if our sniper can get behind the tank and maybe take out the shock trooper. I doubt they're going to be able to take out this, but you never know. You know what? Let's uh, let's let's scout with our tank. Not exactly what he's made for, but it's kind of what he's made for. And maybe okay. Don't take down the sandbag. I'm hoping with like a mortar or something, we'd be able to take out something here. Yeah, okay, there's no sign. There's no sign of anything we can do here. Open with like a mortar. We can take out the shock trip with the mortar. That's not necessarily a bad idea. The trouble is, of course, the pillbox would have something to say about that, and it would not be pleasant words. There's definitely the Ravagnate crate behind. Yeah, it's too many different locations. It could be behind the pillbox. It could be on the side of it. There's just no way to tell. We tried shooting the pillbox, but it's kind of resistant against blast. So that's unlikely. I think our best bet here is to take the shock trooper out this way or take it out with sniper. Uh, might as well just do this. He's not actually dead. I am very surprised. Well, let's take out his cover. That's something. So we could move forward with the cactus. What is this guy? This is also a Gatling? Yeah, it's also a Gatling. Okay. So here, we're going to move the cactus up, grab the scout, and move up as far as we can. We're not going to be able to get up all the way. Uh, especially as this guy's already gone, right? Yeah, this guy's already moved. Is it worth it? I mean, really, I should probably move the engineer and get him inside. Yeah, that might be better. The engineer needs to be up there. Leave it to me. I don't know if there's going to be another tank. There might not be, but just in case there is. Or if we need another ladder or something. Really is hell on Earth. Get inside. I can't board. Is there already a second guy inside? There might be. I didn't think there was, but maybe there is. Okay, well, be careful here. I can't get to the sandbag. I thought I'd be able to get to the sis and repair it. Shit, nope, I can't. Okay, well, that's alright. The pillbox is gonna not worry about him so much, so I'm not too worried about that. So, is there two people inside here? I didn't think there was. Holy shit, there is. There's Gene! I forgot about Gene! How'd I forget about Gene? Totally forgot about it. That's why we can't board anybody there. Okay, let's at least get the cactus in front of Allard so that he's not, you know, gonna die. Yep, I'm on it. We have a lot of movement for this, so that should work out. In range. Okay, that'll work. Tempted to pop our sniper out. She gets behind the cover, takes out the shock trooper. We can't have anybody take the base yet, though, because, you know, we can't do that. But... That would help for next turn. Yeah, okay, why not? Plan for the, plan for the future, right? So, deploy here. Feel that It'd be please. funny to deploy Jean as a sniper. She's hey, not a sniper. Man. That'd be funny. Holy shit. Holy shit, the freaking Gatling turret is just devastating. Never mind then, I thought Nord would be able to do it. I thought I'd be able to get him in cover in time, but that was not working. 
We need to take out the Gatling turret before the sniper dies. How do we do that in three turns? How do we do this? If we get line of sight on the freaking Ragnate, who knows where it is, though? Oh, wait a minute. Hold on. Is that it there? You've already used your mortar, so you're not going to be helpful for that. So, the scouts? Now, the scout pops behind cover. This sandbag is gone. There's no way she'd last long enough to make that work. We need it to happen from a distance. So either that's going to be the Lancer, who's right there anyway, it's not going to work, or a sniper further back. Like, the sniper here would be nice, but the Gatling turret will see her immediately and kill her. The ladder there, that's good to know. I think Riley is our only chance, except Riley doesn't have any ammunition left. The only way we pick up the sniper in time is we use the cactus. That's it. The cactus can call in medical support. We've done that before with the tank. Yeah, yeah. Watch out for counter attack. Medic, we got there we trouble. go. I won't let you die. I'm just carrying over here. No dying today. Okay. Watch out. We can't really do much else with the cactus here. I mean, I guess we can move up here, but that's about it. I mean, I guess we might as well go ahead and fire on this guy. I was wondering if we can get a headshot here, but I didn't think so. Eh, a couple of headshots, that was about it. Well, the shock troopers are less of our concern. Well, okay, we don't have the AP. We got the sniper. We're just going to have to be good with this. I'm tempted to move the scout up, but the fact that the Gatling turret's there is going to mess everything up. So, no. They have the 2 CP. Wait on it. Oh, I didn't call in another sniper. That's what I should have done. Uh, more reinforcements. That's not surprising. So we need to take that freaking base out. Uh, so one way to do that would be with the tank, right? We roll up. We kill... We kill this guy with either the cactus or the Hoffman. Either one will work. Um, probably the cactus, so we can deploy Gene. Gene deploys, captures the base. Whoever is deployed to the base... Wow, that would wait two turns for that to capture this. I don't know if that's reasonable. I don't know. It's a, ch it's a possibility. Um... In fact, there's only one person inside the cactus right now is just how it goes, I guess. We could probably get the engineer, run him up to the cactus, and the cactus runs up to here and takes out the shock trooper. Is he healed now? In a whole turn. He's, he's pretty well healed. That's going to have to be a hell of a shot, basically. But if the cactus rolls right up on him, he's basically dead. It's freaking Gatling turret, man. Okay, I think... I think you can totally make it up here. I think you've got to be the one to do it, too. Leave it to me. A little dangerous. Engaging. Holy fuck. It's really dangerous. Holy. How'd they know to go after him? Okay, so that didn't work out so well. Shit, man. Okay, we need to take this thing out. Yes, so... You go over here. It's like no protection whatsoever. Okay. Destroy this thing. Destroy this guy here. Actually, do we have... There it is. That's what I want. No! Oh, there we go. We just had one, one hit. <laughs> it only takes one. It only takes one. Okay. Rotate all the way around. This is where we're going to deploy. Right here. Well, on the upside, the Gatling turret's down. On the downside, our engineer is, uh, could be feeling better. He could be feeling better. 
Okay, so go grab our engineer here. Sorry, Nico, you're basically our, our cleanup squad. Not intended, but that's apparently what you are right now. You picked up both Kai and Alard here. We're getting you out. It's alright, these guys are alive. It's something. Try to hang in there. Sending reinforcements. I don't suppose to be able to take this shot, would you? I mean, you can, but the chances are slim. It is a surprise attack. Not a single one of those landed, and I didn't really expect them to. That was a lot to ask from Nico. Okay, so we've got Jean inside here. She can blow up this guy, but probably not a good idea. He's going to get some good reaction shots. Instead, I think we use the Hoffman. Nothing like overwhelming firepower, right? Nothing like it. Okay, here we go. And the mortar would be tempting, but I think we just go ahead and use the uh, the brown here. Four shots to kill. We'll need less than that, especially if we actually manage to let the headshot here. That wind. Oh, that'll do it. That'll do it. Fire! I see. They're good. Might as well drive up further here. Watch out for counter attacks. Okay. So far, so good. Just stay up here. It's another. Oh, there's another tank up there. Good to know. So we will need to capture this and deploy another engineer. So let's do that. Let's deploy here. Leave it to me. Not exactly what I had planned for Gene, but it'll work. Not a bad workout. All right, Gene. Thank you very much for your service. Appreciate it. Can you take out that tank? I mean, I realize take out is probably a big gas, but can you shoot that tank? You can probably land that shot. I believe in you. Well, it worked. She totally hit it. Don't sweat the small stuff. She'll never be able to hit it again, but <laughs> she totally hit it. That's that's at least something. Um, did she board? It might be safer to board now. Yeah. Yeah, go ahead and board. Okay. And then we'll go and deploy here, because we need another engineer. Hey, Rebecca. So she'll come in next turn. Um, our snipers are down. We have two tanks over here. Okay, good to know. Good to know. But we can totally sneak up on them. We can just take this guy out right here. Yeah. 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 Okay. So let's get Riley to fire on this guy. That'll at least expose him. These guys move in. Take him out. Come around here. Theoretically shoot these things. So probably what we need to do is deploy another Lancer up here. But we'll see. So Riley. Buddy. Pal. Friend of mine. Your job, whether you're not you choose to accept it, can't freaking hit anything. Okay, never mind then. Put this away. Coming up. Clear shot at your head. All the way up. Found them. Okay, there we go. Now you see him. Go ahead and aim. There we go. There's a shock trooper I want you to hit. Anybody else you can hit? No. But it's just one shot, one kill. That'll work. I really thought he'd be protected, but he's not. Oh, no, he's not quite dead. He's not quite dead, but he's no longer crouching, my bet is. Right? I'd be really surprised if he was still crouching. Let's see. Jordan. He is no longer crouching. Okay. So, Razmataz is totally your type of thing. <laughs> let's do this. Oh, we should have moved them together as a unit, but too late for that now. Be very careful here. All right. I mean, just one shot will do it. Body shot will do. Ladies and gentlemen, there you go. Show me what you can do. Okay. Anybody else around here? I mean, likely. We already took out that pillbox. Probably something else here that I need to worry about. <laughs> Bring it on. I don't see anybody. Come on. You can't die here. 
There's a landmine right there. Be careful of that. Turn on the map here. Where do we need to go? Show no weakness. We need to go to the right. Okay, so don't step on the landmine. That's um, you know what? Stand right here. Stand right here. He doesn't have much movement anyway. I really wish I I should have moved up everyone with the SP. Didn't even think about that until too late. Give me another uh give me another lancer. We're gonna need him. Okay, and Riley's out of ammunition, so we can't do anything with you. We could probably take out this machine gun nest with the Hoffin. The Gatling turret, rather. I don't know if anybody else. We could move Raz back. I don't think it's necessary, though. No, it's not necessary. The landmine worries me a little bit, only because I'm going to forget about it. But other than that, let's take out the machine gun nest or the tank. Or we just sit here. Let's just sit here. We need some ammunition for this, so we'll just wait. Okay, reinforcements canceled because they can't do anything with that. So they only have one... Yep, reinforcements from there. And that's not surprising. The tank moves forward and opens fire. He did not open fire. That's surprising. He can open fire? He's in the way of his own tank. His own friend there. For a little bit. Going. It's alright. We have an engineer for that. Or we just requested an engineer for that. And that's all she wrote. That's not so bad. Okay, so our Lancer and our engineer have arrived, which is great. Um, unfortunately, I need to prioritize. If I want the Lancer to be able to hit the tanks in the future... I mean, really, I want the Lancer to come up over here. So... Raz is not useful there. Who is useful is Rebecca. Or, sorry, not Rebecca. Laurent. Laurent here. I don't know if he's going to be able to make it up there, but... Remember, there's a landmine. Oh, there's a series of landmines on the left, on the left side, so don't do that. Get to a vantage point. Okay, be nice and careful here. Oh, hello. Fire. That's overkill, but I wasn't expecting him to be there. I suppose I should have moved Raz up, but I didn't actually expect a scout to be there. <laughs> that is not the response I wanted there, but um, good job, Laurent. You totally took him out. That's what Raz should have done. Raz should have scouted forward. So there might be another guy like over this direction or something like down here, so we should scout that. So Raz, it's your job. Here comes the pain. I totally failed at that, and I, I apologize. No step on the landmines. So far, so good. Give me a report on the enemy's movement. So far, so good. And there seems to be a tank right there. Um, walking up on the tank seems like a bad idea. Yeah, very, very bad idea. We can shoot this thing, but we're not going to actually be able to aim for the blue. Okay, there we go. A little less likely, but you never know. I mean, that's only that's not going to do anything without explosives. Doesn't matter, right? I mean, it hurt it a little bit, but yeah, not actually going to do anything. Okay. So walk back here so you're no longer in range. And we're good to go. Okay. Um, Laurent's probably out of ammo. No, he's not, actually. Doesn't have the ammo marker on him, so he might be okay to go forward. Try to take out one of those tanks, maybe. Yeah, what could possibly go wrong? I'm not scared of anything. You're already re reloaded, right? So come up here. All the way to Raz went. Oh, you can't jump the movement, probably. Stay sharp, everyone. Yeah, that's gonna be tough. I don't think that's a that's not a likely shot. You can try it, but. Yeah, okay. It bounced off the wall. You gotta train every day. Well, HP recovery, that doesn't actually matter at all, but okay. 
He can get that next turn for sure. Hitting him again won't do anything. Okay, you've got to take out this mach this, uh, okay. this machine Moving gun. Out. Uh, can I not actually hit him with the, the mortar? I can't. Okay, so we need to drive forward a little bit. I can do that. Keep calm and, move onward. and this should do. Yeah, there we go. That's what I actually went right there. Fire! He's not dead? Oh my god, these freaking Gatling turrets. Uh, we do have an engineer, but... We're gonna need, like, a mortar on this guy or something. Riley could... Yeah, Riley can't make that shot. If she gets up here, maybe, but she doesn't have the... doesn't have the range. I could just wait till next turn. We can bank all the CP. But I think I'd like to do... Well, okay, how much health do you have? Only down a little bit. We have been buffing the tank a little bit. So we could just wait. We could just sit here and wait. Often will take a couple of hits, but there's only two tanks there. Only, he says. I mean, if we're gonna just sit and wait, we might as well get Riley as far as possible. So she can help out. So, pack up your stuff. We're gonna go over this way. Don't step on any landmines. That would be very, very bad. Okay, I don't know if you're actually going to be able to do anything here, but might as well set up and see if you can. Salt tank. And it looks like she's trying to hit the machine gun nest, but she can't actually make it. I don't know which she's actually shooting at, but my guess is she can't actually do anything. Hold on. Gatling turret, there we go. I just had to move things around a little bit, and it looks like it worked. So maybe this... Holy shit, it worked. I'm as surprised as anybody. Okay, that's actually great. Um, Jean is still inside the APC, and I think that's where she belongs right now. Oh, I wonder... Okay, what we could do is move the cactus up here. Jean deploys out here, comes up. And she and Laurent do a 1-2 double punch. Depending on how far up these tanks move. That might work. Yep, Cactus might take a hit, but that'd be one less hit the Hoffman doesn't take, so that'd be good. So up here. Yeah, there yeah, we go. And then deploy here. Leave it to me! Gene deployed on the correct side. Nicely done, Gene. Okay, be careful here. There might be landmines. Seems unlikely. It's supposed to be enemy territory. But they did landmine some other places that seemed unlikely, so you never know. We need interception fire. It's like we're okay. It is a very long and winding road here, though, so... She's not going to make it all the way, but at least this gets her on the right track. Yeah, okay, she's not going to be able to make it, but this is good. They're going to be able to do a 1-2 punch next turn. Nothing wrong with a good old 1-2. Okay, now we go ahead and just wait. We're in a much better position now. The tanks don't know, but they're about to get creamed. Move the engineer up. Engineer repairing the tank probably wouldn't be a bad idea, and keeping her behind the tank would be good, too. Because right now, the other two tanks could theoretically hit her. Try not to get killed. It would be a bad theory if that was true. So, let's come up here and might as well repair this tank. Actually, repair the tank and get inside the APC. Probably not a bad idea. That way she's protected from fire. The cactus can't be taken down very easily. So yeah, jump inside the APC just to be on the safe side. Just so she can't be targeted individually. Alright, in the face. I would tend to move the scout up, but the scout can't do anything right now anyway. Not against tanks. The enemy reinforcement's gonna be a problem, but that's okay. Uh, 
Lots of reinforcements. And then the tanks move up and fire. I think he just hit his friend there. That was some friendly fire there. Minimal damage. Often barely took a hit. That's fine. Okay, so we move the Lancers up. My only problem with that is that the Lancers might get hit by these guys from behind. Okay, they're moving to the sandbags there. Depends on what kind of cover we have. Might be none at all. We'll see. Okay, so first things first, let's move the Lancer up. So, I mean, there's a big giant wall here and the sandbag. So chances are these guys can't fire at us at all. I'm not scared of anything. Chances. Chances. We'll see. Come up here. All right, open fire on this dude. Um, actually, can you move just a little bit forward? There we go. Oh, that's not what I meant to do. Didn't know you could do that. Didn't even know you could do that. Okay, he can get information on the different enemy types. That's interesting. All right, nice, good, solid chance of it hit here. One shot, one kill. Eat this. Nicely done. Very well. Target destroyed. Very good. Um, I don't see anybody over there, but I think we're all right. Good job, Laurent. Okay, Jean. I oh, probably should have moved so that Jean can go in his same exact position, but that's all right. Leave it to me. She can get a good hit anyway. Right over here. Yep, that's the assault tank. Okay. Found this guy. Got a good chance here, Gene. Don't fail me. Hell yeah, you call. Good job, good job. So the tanks are down. That was easy. Okay, now time to move the Hoffman up. Okay, moving out. Let's move forward. Watch out for any anti-tank mines. Enemy I doubt sighted. there's any, but there might be. Enemy sighted. Uh, we have lots of good friends here. We're good. Lots of lots of friends all over the place. Lots of friends. Okay, so there's a machine gun nest there. Really, I think we just want to take it out, right? Uh, we might be able to do that. Maybe. We managed to land the hit. A lot of guys here. Well, okay. Gatling turret down. That's good. There's another Gatling turret there. So we have some problems. Riley seems like the best chance for that. So we're going to have to move Riley all the way over there. Our scout. I think we want to move Nico to the cactus. Then the cactus moves up. Um, we're going to have some effort getting through here, but... Oh, there's a sniper, too. Holy fuzzy cats. Okay. Um, in that case, we probably want to call a sniper in. We get Kai back. We can totally get Kai back. Maybe she... I don't know how that's going to work. Let's get Nico over here first. Leave it to me. Nico's got enough... AP, she can totally make this. As long as she doesn't accidentally step on a mine or anything. I don't think we've seen any mines in this main path. Kind of surprising. Okay, you board this. There you go. Okay, that's not bad. I mean, if Riley could get into position... So she'd basically have to be over here where Raz is. I don't think she can move that far. We'll see how far she can go. I'm on a roll. Okay, Riley, you are on a roll, Riley. You are doing very well. Okay. Remember, no landmines, please. They're going to the left side. And not as far as I'd like, but that's still pretty good. Can you hit anybody over here, or is this too far? Let's see. I'm gonna hit a shock trooper, that's not bad. Hit the scout. Hit the shock trooper. Hit the scout. That's it, but that's not bad. So, get the shock trooper. Because why the hell not, right? Might as well hit somebody here. Too easy. Fire on the hole. Well that's pretty good. Okay, so she'll be able to gradually whittle these guys away. The sniper is still going to be an issue. 
We have nobody really exposed right now who can be hit by the sniper, though, so we're all right there. We've got two people inside the cactus. We can't carry any more. So I think we're just okay with that. Yeah. I wonder if maybe... So the engineers right now is in the cactus. I'm wondering if it's going to be worth it. No, it's not. It's not. I thought maybe it was going to be worth it. So to repair the uh, to repair the ladder, so the sniper can climb the ladder, come over here. But there's no line of sight, so it wouldn't actually work. Yeah, we're fine. We're fine. So let's move the let's just move the cactus up. Yeah, yeah. I'm not even sure the sniper is necessarily going to be all useful. We could do a sniper v sniper fight, which would work. Snipers don't get reaction shots, but the problem mainly is that there's a lot of guys here which we can't do anything with. So come up here and knock down this. Come over here and open fire with Robinson on you. Yeah, okay, didn't do much. Didn't do much. He's hurt, but that's about it. Probably move the cactus a little too far up, but that's okay. Uh, Riley could open fire again. That's not necessarily a bad idea. Or the Hoffman. The Hoffman take out the sniper? It's possible. It's not likely, but it's possible. Okay, moving out. Because once we take out the sniper, we can deploy. Watch out for counter attack. All right, let's try this. It's probably a bad idea, but oh, can I not even see the sniper? I can't even see the sniper. Oh, there he is. No, no, no we see him. Yeah, it's a hell of a shot. If we hit him, it's one shot. It's a big F. So you see how big this area effect is? It's unlikely. We might as well try for it, though. Whatever. Right there. Yeah, okay. Big, huge whiff. Not surprising. Should I repair the... Well, the machine gun nest... Gone. It might not be a bad idea to repair the sandbag. Sniper's got a very long way to go next turn. Can't really help with that. But we can help with cover. So I think, yeah, deploy the... Um... Oh, no, the cactus is back here. Or over here. It's in front. Yeah, hold off. In the face. We have this. We totally have this. Like, four guys here. No big deal. I keep calling in more and more every day, but... Yeah, keep on requesting those reinforcements, so... If they're actually going to charge the position, that could be bad. Yep, didn't actually make it to cover. He tried, though. And he tried, too. I don't where the hell was this? What, where, what was he thinking? Where was the... Which, where, where did he think he was going? <laughs> okay, good. The other scout's not stupid enough to do that. I wouldn't think he would be, but you never know. We have a shit ton of CP. If we had more CP, it'd go off the freaking page. Okay, so really, we don't need this yet. We don't need the sniper. I thought we would, but we don't. Right? Because we can roll up on the scout here with the cactus, or roll up on the sniper. Either way. I think what we do here is we take the Hoffin, and we kill the scout. Alright, that doesn't matter at all, because we're inside a tank, but okay. So we go up here, we kill the scout. Right, knock down a sandbag. He can't do shit. Shoot him. This, um, nope, actually, we need, we're too close. So back up. And now we can murder this guy. The headshots don't even matter. Okay, scout down. So we got that. The cactus moves up, kills the sniper, and takes the base. Yep, I'm on it. I mean, we could do that with the, with the actual cactus itself. I don't think we can take the base with the cactus itself, but... I'll head over for support. Um, so, now the sniper's dead. He just doesn't know it yet. There you go. Now he knows it. And we just deploy and take the base. We're good. 
Anybody, who wants it? Um, Nico, you know what? You would have had a shit job the whole rest of this mission. This way you can actually, like, be proud of yourself. I mean, you should be proud of yourself anyway, but... This gives you, like, a moment of glory. So here you go. That's it. Done and done. Mission complete. Good celebratory music. Alright, see what else they throw at us here. Alright, we're on top of the world! Man, what a view! Those imps all have their backs to us. Well, it'd be rude to just stand and stare. Hey, Ras, what are you doing? Huh. Um, jumping ahead of the plan, sir? Ha! Just a little payback! They want to mess with us? I'll give them double! A hundred times worse! All right, imps! Raz is coming through! You want to run, or you want to die? Oh, for the love of... that idiot! Wait, no, Kai! Raz! Come back! Uh, they're gone. <laughs> Okay, C rank. I'll take it. I'll take it. Better than our previous run. BBPL1E. No idea, but it sounds cool. So, Kai and Raz are never seen again? It's possible. If so, that'll happen next time. Thank you for watching. This has been Valkyra Chronicles 4 on PC Universe, your PC Universe 2, and I'll see you guys next time.